Windsurf Wave 4, the latest update from Windsurf and it's one of the huge updates beating Cursor in regards to various features and how this compares with Bolt Not New and Lovable. First, it has preview window. You are able to preview the application which you have built in real time. If you are missing any import, it can automatically import. It has its own linter integration, which means if it identify any linting errors in your code, it can automatically detect and fix it for you. It can provide suggested actions based on the request you provided on what to do next. It has its own MCP interface. It's like a marketplace for MCP where you can directly add MCPs. Previously, we were using JSON and you need to write the code for MCP to work. And this makes it more simple. You are able to drag and drop files inside Cascade to quickly refer the file and edit that file. This is not a feature in Windsurf till now, but Cursor had this feature already. You have a control for choosing model, improvements in Clonet 3.7 Sonnet. So I'm going to take you through one by one. First, a quick overview and then a demo. So first, previews. As of now, whenever an error happens in the UI, you need to take a screenshot and then pass it to Windsurf to identify the error. Similarly, if there are any browser logs, you need to copy the error log and put that in Windsurf. But now this is all automated and integrated. Windsurf can automatically detect this. If you want to preview, you can just say run preview and it can automatically run the command required to preview the application and you are able to view exactly like this. And you are able to select components within the preview and ask follow-up questions to make further changes. Also, if it identify any errors, you can directly click and it's able to fix that error. Again, there's a tab import error in this file, as you can see here. Windsurf automatically detects that. And by clicking tab, you can automatically import the required module to fix this code. Here's the linter integration. Automatically, it's able to read through the code and understand the linting error is there and it's able to fix the error automatically. Here is suggested items. So you can see in the screen, the list of suggested things to do. So you can just click the button and it's going to perform the task. It's just predicting what is the next step you intended to do. Rather than us typing it, it gives you the suggestion. Next, MCP integration with a beautiful UI. And before it wasn't like this, you need to write the JSON code for it to work. But for now, in the upgraded version, it's all automatic and visually integrated. You are able to drag and drop files in your cascade and ask questions based on that. You are able to choose models in your admin console for enterprise users. DeepSeek version 3 is now unlimited in Windsurf Pro and unlimited plans. And it uses zero prompt credits and zero flow action credits. That is huge, which makes it more powerful than Cursor. And now we are going to see that as a demo. So here is one of my application, a health monitoring application. So first we are going to preview this. So here, when you go in Cascade, there is a website preview. So click on that and it's asking me if I need to enable previews and click that. You can run preview and clicking enter. This will automatically initiate a tool call to run the preview and I'm going to click open preview. Now you can see I'm able to see my application as a preview window here and I can add a new entry. So wait, I might be wrong, but just adding some numbers and save data. Now you can see the preview and I'm able to interact with this preview. I can select the element and I can just say, click on this and on the cascade, I'm going to say, name it as Mervin Prison Monitor. And now it's making the relevant change and it knows the file and it's editing it. Now it gives me the option to preview again and I can see the change here, Mervin Prison Monitor. So that is brilliant. Everything is taken care of and you can see all the modified files here. If I decide to keep it, you can see the changes happening here and I can keep all the changes. Next, in regards to imports, for example, I'm going to delete a router link. For now, it gives me a suggestion, but I believe for other cases such as this, it's automatically suggesting me that an import is required and I'm able to import that uh, module. Next, you got MCP. So here is the MCP option. So clicking on MCP, already I've got two MCP. So I'm going to configure. So clicking this configure is the old way of doing it. So for now, you got WinServe and go to advanced settings. There you got the MCP servers. They are suggesting some MCP servers, which you can directly install 
and we can even add MCP service like this. Add custom server or add existing suggestion. Adding the GitHub access token and saving the configuration. By adding MCP, you are able to interact with external tools like GitHub, Puppeteer, PostgreSQL. For example, if I integrate with Postgres, it can automatically read my database, create tables, add data to those tables, delete if required, modify or optimize. Everything is automatic right within your IDE or the AI code editor. You are able to drag and drop files here, which wasn't possible before and ask questions. Overall, I'm really impressed with this. And this is exactly what bolt.new does and lovable does on a web basis. This is going to be faster considering it's local on your computer. If you're an advanced developer, you might need this extra flexibility compared to Bolt or Lovable. And this preview mode is definitely not available in Cursor. And in that way, I feel this is better than Cursor and able to do things much more quicker, preview things, edit things faster than before. Considering you already like Windsurf, I also created another video in regards to Windsurf Basics, which I highly recommend for you to watch. Teaches you the basic things on how to set up and how to configure. And I will see you there.